Hey, how's it going everybody? It is JT here, and today we are going to do a little bit of an ASMR styled kind of video. Um, I am going to show you guys my collection of rare and also kind of unique Nintendo items. Uh, some of them are going to be rare, and then some of them maybe not so rare, but they'll be kind of like unique and different. So, having said that, uh, let's get into it, shall we? And by the time we're done here, <laughs> this whole table will be filled with Nintendo merch. So, <clears throat> the first thing that we are checking out is, um, this is an item from Japan. It is a Pikmin-themed item, and it's a little, like, pouch, case, you know, kind of a storage thing. You could put whatever you want in here, and it's got a red Pikmin. And it's just really cool. I have never really displayed anything in this. I probably should do that at some point. But it's definitely a unique item. And uh, yeah, I like the detail. I like how it's got actual fuzziness for the grass, a little butterfly. Just a very cool, unique item. Next up, we have, this is pretty neat, it is a notebook for Nintendo Land, as you can see, and it's just, you know, made for taking notes or whatever, and it has all the icons for the minigame attractions in the game. I actually got this from a private press event in Miami um, before the Wii U had launched. And it's a pretty cool item. I don't know if this was ever actually given away outside of press events. So, it could be very rare, actually. Maybe it was like a pre-order bonus? I don't think it was. So this is a Splatoon water gun, and it was a pre-order bonus for uh, getting the game, I think, and it was from Target. It's uh, kind of cheaply made. It's just a default water pistol with some Splatoon stickers and a Wii U sticker on it. I do like the... The label, though, unfortunately, I think this is broken. Yeah, there's this piece broke. I have no idea how that happened. But certainly a neat little relic from back in the original days of the first game. So this is one of my favorite Nintendo items. I love Animal Crossing and I love Mr. Resetti, particularly back in the days when he was angry. He's not even in New Horizons really, um, but this is a little like memo pad, like you write yourself a, a message to remember. There's a whole bunch of them back there. And uh, it's just such a really cool setup. I love the, the dynamic of this. It's really well made. His little um, his little pickaxe even comes out of his hand. So, absolutely one of my favorite Nintendo pieces. <laughs> uh, this is from Japan as well. Here's another Animal Crossing item. These were just. Uh, little basic cheap magnets. You even had to cut them yourself. They were like stuck together. And I'm, I'm missing two of them. I don't know where they went, but you can see that they're not the greatest. We got Joan and 
we got Tom Nook as well as Pelly and I believe his name is Cyrus so <laughs> they're they're kind of made out of a like a plastic you can see they're a little plasticky but just neat little refrigerator magnets there are all the ones that you could collect which one would I have liked to get I think number four is well they're all actually really good although I will say I think the one that I got is my least favorite <laughs> out of all of them and I, I think you do know which one you're getting I'm not sure but I bought this online so keeping with Animal Crossing tradition if you have been a fan of my channel for a while you might remember this <laughs> this is a Tom Nook puppet from the Japanese movie for Animal Crossing so I don't know how a child would be able to operate this because you need to have like somewhat big hands <laughs> he even has a tail um, but I think this is pretty rare I mean it's the movie merchandise so it's from a long time ago 2008 it says no 2006 and yeah But that is my Tom Nook movie anime puppet. <laughs> Here's another Splatoon item. This is designed to look like the ink tank from the game. I think from the first game, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, you're supposed to put like a bottle of water in it or like a fruit juice drink or a Gatorade or something like that. And uh, has a zipper. It's just such a cool item. And you'll notice it's got like a semi transparent section so that you can see the color of your drink and it'll look like ink. It's got a little handle here so that you can put it on like your belt or something. Very, very, very cool item. Um, a friend of mine sent me this, Nintendo Tweet, she sent me this. <laughs> here are a couple Star Fox action figures. I think these are pretty neat. We got Fox McCloud and Slippy Toad. These are actually American made. They are from the uh, World of Nintendo line, I believe. They also make uh, Falco and Peppy, but uh, I don't have them. I just think it's really neat that there are Star Fox action figures. And I don't think these are made anymore. These are from several years ago. So, this next item is pretty incredible as well. <laughs> it is a Kirby desktop fan, and it's <laughs> it might be kind of terrifying to look at, but it is just so cool. It is so well made, and it plugs into your USB on your computer and uh, you know your your computer or your laptop or whatever and then it has a little on button and it has three settings there's um, low medium and high and it actually does produce a decent amount of little wind to like cool you off on a summer day or something 
Usually Kirby sucks things up, but obviously here it blows, so. <laughs> but just a very incredible piece of merchandise. So next up, this is actually something that I made myself. These are Mario baseball cards from the Wii game. And I print, had them professionally printed and even laminated so they would uh, stand the test of time. And the backs have all of this information about the players in the game. And it has all of the characters, got all of them. Uh, Mario Baseball on the Wii is my favorite Mario sports game. And so uh, I really wanted to have baseball cards of them. These are the team names. And on the back of the card, it says stuff about the teams, um, the stadiums. On the back, it talks about the gimmicks from those stadiums. So um, yeah. Just a whole bunch of them. And like I said, they're laminated so that they will never fade or get ripped. Um, one of the things that me and my friends would do, and we gotta get, I think we have to do this again this summer, is we would actually deal them. Like we would, you know, we'd kind of design our own baseball teams. And so we would take all the character cards, we would shuffle them up, and then we would like deal them out. Like me, Tyler, Nick, me, Tyler, Nick, and we would just keep going until we use them all, and then we could trade cards, like, you know, if somebody didn't want Pianta, you could trade Pianta for, like, I don't know, somebody else, um, but we would always, uh, we would always try to rip each other off, we'd make bad trades, but these are definitely a prized item of mine. And they're one of a kind. <laughs> All right, so I love the Nintendo GameCube. It is my favorite Nintendo system. I really think that is when Nintendo was the most creative with their games. Um, and so I have a few boxes here that are unique. Um, so the first two are actually Mario Party themed and they have these like thicker boxes that they came in as you can see and uh, that is because they came with a mic peripheral as you can tell on the box there and while the microphone did not make the games amazing it was a fun little thing to mess around with and it was free so yeah and that's why they had to come in uh, these bigger boxes but I saved the boxes because even though I don't like new Mario Party games, I used to be a huge fan of this series. So, yeah. I also have another box like that. This is, um, this is absolutely one of my favorite games. It's The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. And uh, this one came included with the Game Boy Advance Link Cable so that you can use the uh, Game Boy Advance SP to play. So that's why it is in a bigger box, but man, this game is really good. They need to make a sequel to this with like online play. Here's another Japanese item. This is, this is Lakitu. And he's from Mario Kart, obviously. And he's a little clock. Maybe it's kind of hard to see, but it is telling the time there. Um, but I didn't set it properly, so that's not actually what the time is. But you just take the little clock part, you hook it on, and there you go. <laughs> and um, if you look closely, it's really well made. This is a great figure. He even has the little, um, he's got the little Mario Kart TV um, logo <laughs> on his earphones or whatever, headphones. So very, very cool item from Japan. <laughs> I can 
fix that. There we go. Here is a lanyard that I got from the one and only times that I went to E3. Uh, this is from 2015, and it was when Super Mario Maker was launching for the Wii U, or about to. And you would get these little buttons by doing the various game demos. So, let me see. <laughs> we got Mario with a spiny on his head. Got a stack of Goombas and a Paragoomba. Got a red Koopa Troopa with a question mark block with wings. The 30th anniversary logo. And uh, so yeah, I don't know if those are all of the ones you could get, but those are all the ones I got. The lanyard is really cool. It has a bunch of Mario artwork throughout uh, Mario's expansive career and then on the back side of it it has the little items and stuff through the various 2d games so pretty neat item here are a couple Japanese guidebooks that I have this one is for Animal Crossing on the N64 and this one is for the original Mario Party on the N64 um, and I just, I really love Japanese guides. I need to buy more from eBay, but um, we're not gonna look through them, but we can kind of quickly. I, I think I already have ASMR videos where I went over these, but it's uh, pretty cool to have like a guidebook. And I love the way that they display the mini games like this, just really neat. And then the Animal Crossing one is pretty great. I have a little leaf bookmark inside of it. <laughs> Just, it's really cool to see the very old furniture. The way that it used to be so blocky and blurry. Look at that. That's great. All the old clothing. Remember when the game used to have gyroids? <laughs> I really wish they'd bring those back. All right. Here are some rare Club Nintendo Animal Crossing playing cards, and they are themed around a uh, wild world. Let me see if I can open these without them going everywhere. I did it. So yeah. They're just neat little playing cards. Um, and again, this was from the Wild World days. But I'm pretty sure these have got to be rare because they were only given out through Club Nintendo. And they were, who's the Joker? Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah. This is one of the few items that I actually got with my points. I really wish Nintendo would do this stuff again. It was just really fun. But I think that Club Nintendo, um, I think that was really kind of very much an idea from Mr. Iwata. He was a really big supporter on caring about fans and giving us cool stuff like behind the scenes interviews and special loot for being loyal fans and so sadly I don't think I can see that coming back I've got we'll go through these very quickly I've got some Japanese stickers from various Mario games there's a Mario Kart 8 some Mario Kart 8 stickers here is some glittery these are really cool they're like glittery from Super Mario 3D World Mario Kart 8. And again, these are um, all Japanese stickers. <laughs> Baby Luigi, Baby Daisy. These are cool. The way they're just like shiny and glittery. I didn't realize how many of these I had. This is a photo. <laughs> I don't know how this got in there. It's a, my niece. Here are some Animal Crossing New Leaf stickers in a book. 
These are very neat. Some furniture in here, fossils, the tools. We even have some stationery in the back. But yeah. Here is a, this is one of my favorite books that I have for Nintendo. I did a whole ASMR video on this already, so we won't go too in depth. But it's for Doshin the Giant, which is an amazing summary game. And uh, it's for the GameCube. But it didn't come out in America, only Japan and Europe. Um, but it's such a cool summary game. And this is just kind of a fun book, talking about it. You got some artwork. Really cool. And pretty rare. This is maybe one of the dumbest items that I own. <laughs> but it is a bottle of water that is branded with the Wii U. And this was given out at Nintendo's um, little events that they had for media and press. And it's kind of cool because it's labeled Miami. So these had, they were also in like Chicago and New York. And I think it's neat that they actually have them labeled for where they were. Um, and I, of course, went to the one in Miami when I used to live in Florida. And can we get that to focus? It's been expired since July 5th of 2014. So it's um, probably not something I want to drink anytime soon. Got some more stuff here. Here is Little Nemo Dream Master, Little Nemo the Dream Master from the NES. Um, I put this in here because I actually have the box as well as the game. And generally, finding the boxes for NES games is pretty rare. <laughs> I, of course, have Jaws for the NES. I really wish I had the box, though. I've got the original Super Mario Brothers for the NES uh, in Japan. I just really like the cases, how it's yellow and, you know, different shaped. This is just a random bag of Super Mario 3D World candy from Japan, um, but I don't have the candy anymore, but I saved the bag. Now, everybody knows about Amiibo cards, but these are the original Amiibo cards. Uh, this is e-reader cards from Japan, and it's an unopened package. So we have one more item I want to show you today. And it is this cover plate for Animal Crossing. This is for the new Nintendo 3DS, and it's just got a lot of really cool artwork. And this was given to me by a friend, um, Nintendon, who now works for Nintendo, by the way. But um, just a really, really cool design, um, and I've never opened it. Actually, I know I said that was the last thing, but I did find a few more things that I think should be included. So, first of all, I have this Chibi Robo keychain that Nintendo sent me with a review copy of uh, Chibi Robo Ziplash, which is not a great game, but the keychain is very neat. Unfortunately, it does have the Ziplash logo on the back, but we'll just ignore that. We'll just pretend this is for the GameCube game. I also have this very rare R-Wing pin. Um, this was given away if you played Star Fox Zero at E3 in 2015. Um, and I did not wait in line, but a really amazing fan gave this to me, which was very kind of him. It's really well made. It feels kind of heavy. But, yeah. And then I have this Chain Chomp ring, which is kind of amazing. Um, I just got this from Target. It was like a blind bag thing, but pretty incredible. When I got my review copy for Animal Crossing New Leaf from Nintendo, they uh, sent me this little postcard. 
uh, which is kind of cool. And again, very rare because I'm, I imagine a lot of press probably just threw this away, um, but I kept it. And then I did want to very quickly show my some of my collection of Japanese GameCube games because I love the little boxes that they come in. I have Gift Pia, which is one of my favorite games. Again, very summery. I also have Dance Dance Revolution with Mario, a very strange but charming game. I have Mario Party 5, and uh, it's pretty great. One of the things I love about this is, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but it, it's a glittery cover. You can kind of see it. Yeah. The cover has like a glitter effect, which is very cool. You guys know how much I love shiny things. Doshin the Giant, of course. And then also uh, the original Mario Baseball game for the GameCube. And I just love how they're small. They have the little cardboard sleeves, and then they have like the clear plastic case. Really cool. Okay, and now, finally, I want to show two amiibo that I have. So these are from the 30th anniversary of Super Mario. And this one was just sold in stores normally, I'm pretty sure, the uh, retro looking one. But this one to the right here, this one I think you could only get if you bought the Wii U bundle with Super Mario Maker. I don't think this one was sold separately. I could be wrong, but I'm, my memory says it wasn't. Um, and the only reason I have it is because a fan sent it to me, which was very kind and amazing. So yeah, I think this one is decently rare. But again, who knows, maybe eventually Nintendo started selling them separate. I, I don't know. <laughs> what I do know is that we have, <laughs> look at this. We have a giant mess of Nintendo goods here now, as I said we would. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I am obsessed with ASMR videos, and I have been for many, many, many years. Um, and so I kind of want to do more of them at this channel from time to time. Um, but I'm not sure if it's something you guys would like. So let me know. Drop a comment below. I hope you enjoyed relaxing with me and checking out all my, well, most of my cool, rare, unique Nintendo stuff. Um, so I am actually going to go jog now, and um, then I am going to eat a veggie chicken patty and some Panera mac and cheese. So I'm going to go do that, and I will talk to you guys really soon.